Hey YouTube, KK6, TGM here. So, I wanted to do a quick video on the Yaesu YHA63 uh, antenna that comes with the Yaesu 817 and the Yaesu 818, which are basically the same radio. So literally no information about these antennas, uh, and so I wanted to just talk a little bit about them. It'll do, this is basically uh, six meter, two meter, and 70 centimeter. And what I'm interested in is six meter. They just screw together like this. Now the problem is with this antenna is the SWR is pretty terrible on it. So we're gonna explore what it takes to put a counterpoise together for this. How do I know the SWR is bad? Because I'll take my Yaesu radio over here, plug the antenna into the front, turn her on to, uh, 50.125 and then make a call out and watch the SWR meter KK6 TGM as you can see the SWR meter was probably somewhere uh, I think it was five bars or something like that so let's do clear that up a little bit and again we'll just try to uh, see that SWR meter a little bit again a little bit better too many bars KK6 TGM let's see if we can lower that So I have this cheap Chinesium antenna analyzer that's set for 50.120 megahertz. So we're just gonna read what the antenna says. Right off the bat, with me as the counterpoise, I'm reading uh, SWR 6.98. That's not very good at all. If I put the meter down uh, just by itself without me touching it, the meter should read uh, SWR of over 10. That's not good either. So I just cut a piece of wire here that is approximately uh, 4.9 inches long. And I have the end trimmed here and we're just gonna see if we can lower it with a counterpoise. All right, with the counterpoise attached, I'm just retuning the analyzer down to 50.120. And we'll just see what it says. All right, so now I'm around 2.45. That's a lot better than it was before, uh, which was, I think it was six or something like that. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put it down and see how the counterpoise plays just by itself without me touching it. SWR is actually 2.4. So you can see here that the counterpoise helps a lot with this antenna. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder on a power pole so I can use it with the power pole ground lug that I have installed on my radio. I get my power pole connectors on eBay. I'm sorry, uh, I get my power pole connectors off Amazon. I'm not sure if they're real or not, but I don't really care. They do the job well. Um, so I'm just going to grab a shell, grab a connector, solder it together. A lot of people will say you need the crimper for it. That's fine if you're running a bunch of current through the connection where, you know, you have the potential for the solder to melt, but for stuff like this, it doesn't matter. Save yourself the 30 bucks, buy some beer. It's always helpful to have a little poker to get it actually to latch in there once you get it square. There you go. On the bottom of my radio, I have a nifty power pull adapter, which I soldered on a lug that just goes into the negative side here. So we're just gonna connect it. This is my counterpoise for six meters. So with this connected and the antenna connected to the top and the microphone connected so we can key the transmitter, 
Let's see what the SWR is now. Okay, so remember it was five, six bars about. KK6 TGM. SWR is almost gone from the meter. Again, I'll do that one more time to key it up. Basically gone, two bars. So from four to uh, f five to six bars to two bars. That's it. Thanks for watching.